Today, some of Lil Tecca's most hyped songs that have crazy high music video production barely break a million views on YouTube, which is okay, but nothing compared to the levels of fame he saw back in 2019 because of one main reason. See, Tekka's career actually started off as an accident while playing Xbox with his friends where he just wanted to create diss tracks on them for fun. Like one of my first friends on Xbox, we was just chilling and we, we used to always roast each other. I was like, nah, I'm about to make a song on you. He started recording these diss tracks and uploading them to SoundCloud at age nine, but then they were deleted. It wasn't until a few years later when he would start to take it more seriously, but his music was still unrecognizable to what we know today. The song didn't really receive too much traction, however, this was when his first controversy comes into play. It's important to point out that Tekka isn't really a guy who gets into a ton of internet drama, which is what makes this story so funny. See, he started listening to a song by a Toronto rapper whose music he didn't really like, so he wanted to remake it, and it went viral for the wrong reasons. Because the song became popular after a Toronto culture Instagram page, SixBuzz, posted accusing Tekka of copying their rapper's flow, which he did. But shockingly, he would actually build his career off this initial success because just a couple months later, Cole Bennett from Lyrical Lemonade saw Tekka's music online and wanted to work with him. They would then go on to make the music video for a song titled Ransom, which would change Tekka's life forever. I got black, I got white, what you want? It was the song of the summer back in 2019 and had over 2 billion combined streams, but there was one major problem here. First was how much he was capping about in his songs, which significantly decreased his credibility among his fans as he was lying about basically everything he rapped about. I got a pack, hit him and do it again. A friend, I have a girlfriend. I don't have no young ladies. Don't DM me. I got bands, when I'm flying to France, drinking till Land. Nah, I never went to France. I ain't took one again, crashed Ferrari, so I hopped in the bands. I don't even drive. And second, Tekka was just 16 years old and still in high school, claiming that he could only make music on the weekends. Hilariously, while he was blowing up, he would often tweet out his homework, asking fans to fill out the answers for him. I think school is getting easier for him because lately he's been crowdsourcing the answers for his tests. Can you imagine that? So why did his career sort of plateau? Well, it's hard to say that Tech has fallen off as he's still getting 13 million monthly listeners on Spotify, but fans do often complain that all his music sounds the same. A lack of innovation combined with not releasing music too consistently, as well as not being able to top the song Ransom has led his career to sort of a standstill right now. But he is still active, appearing on people like Aiden Ross's stream making for viral clips like these. We love you, Tekka. <laughs> Yo, I'm not gonna- oh, I'm out. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Today, Tekka is just 20 years old and he actually just performed at Rolling Loud California to a decent crowd, so we know that he's still going strong. But if you think that Tekka's music still low-key slaps, 